everyone, Backyard Farmer Pat here. Guess where I am? I am at Gail's Backyard. Do you remember that fabulous video that we did last year? Well, I can tell you her backyard is even more fabulous now. So let's get started, guys. Do you remember those little banana trees she had? Look at them now. They are big and so healthy looking. And Gail, is this the first bunch you've gotten? No, the first bunch was from this tree. And oh, wow. I cut, it, cut it back since it's already bare. Yeah, and I see you have and several more suckers, suckers coming up. Coming behind, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And look at all these beautiful bananas she has. Two. This is one, I guess, the most recent one. But then, guys, look at this one. This, she has a huge banana bunch here. My goodness, you have bananas that last you forever. So let's go check out the backyard. Ah, see so you have your beautiful frangipani here. Wow, the garden looks so much different since your last time. Your yeah. Chinese, Chinese lantern. Wow. I, I see you've done... pineapples off of oh, this year. So what? I have to figure out what the next... Just plant some more, plant some more. Absolutely beautiful, my goodness. What kind of mango is this? Uh, Bombay. Oh, Bombay. No. Bombay. One of Jamaica's favorite. And your yellow coat plum trees are massive now. Yeah, it's a huge, huge tree now. Wow. Did you get a good crop this year? I got a bumper crop this year. A bumper crop, wow. Wow, nice. And I see, my goodness, so before when we came here, there was no fence. So now that you have your fence, I see that you planted some. What are, are these, what are these again? Um, mandevillas. These are mandevillas? Yes. Okay. So this is a Jamaican kind of mandevilla. I know they have that a lot in Jamaica. Yes. yes. And your lighty tree, oh my goodness, your lighty tree is like, your lighty tree is like probably five times the size as it was last year. Yeah. Look how big it is. Last yeah. year it was just maybe three, four, well, about four feet. And now it's massive. And there's another one here now, a long gun. Oh, very nice. So back here is her long gun. Very nice, very healthy. Your trees all look so healthy. I can see you put a lot of work into this. And then here is the little June plum tree from last year. That was, I know, about three feet last year, three, yeah. four feet. And then guys, yeah. look at it now. So if you guys remember the video I did a couple of weeks ago at my brother's house, and we did a, a video of his June plum tree and he said that even though all his June plums were stripped by the, the fruit rats, they grew back. So this it shows you how June plum is a tree that bears year round. A great tree. If you live in the tropics, get a June plum tree. You'll get fruits year round and one of my favorite fruits. All right. So as we come through here, what is this beauty I see? Could this be your Naysbury tree? No. My Naysbury. Oh, wow, guys. Wow, but no fruit yet, right? No fruit, I soon beat it. No, yeah, it's okay, but it's still young. It's only what, three years old? Um, yeah, it's, I've had it here three years, I think. Okay. And, but I got it, you know, from the nursery. It's, it's from seed. It's oh, from it's from seed. seed, okay. So this tree is only three years old, but you can see it's already like 10, probably 10 feet tall and beautiful foliage and I know absolutely you're gonna get naysbury soon. Can't wait. Yeah, especially since it's from tree, when you plant a, um, a fruit tree from tree, um, from seed, <laughs> they take a little bit longer to bear versus a grafted tree. And then here, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. What is this beauty I see? That is a Jamaican, what they call OTET -E -E apple, apple, which yeah. you guys know is my absolutely favorite fruit in the world. You, you see the video I did last week where I showed you my OTET -E apple. So guys, look at the difference. Look at her tree versus my tree that has like 10 leaves on it. This is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna be eating, you're gonna be eating really good. All right, so let's walk around here. I wanna see, oh, your, your papaya. Your papaya is back there, loaded with papayas. There's a papa. You say papaya, I say papa. Jamaican say papa, yes. This is a... Um, um, pongonut. Pongonut. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamaica say <laughs> pongonut. So Jamaica say papa, this is papaya. This just, a bird pooped it out because I didn't plant this. And oh, wow. Yeah, so hopefully they taste good. Have you tried any yet? No. None yet? None okay. Yet. Hopefully None it's yet. a good one. 
All right, so let's wrap it up. Let's go around the side and see what you have go growing on the side. Wow, your mango tree is so massive. And I know you mentioned because of the cold snap you had, it really damaged your, it really affected your mango pro pro production this yes, year, right? Yes, I hardly got any this year. Right. And if you guys remember that video I did on the Keats mango tasting test, the tree was literally laden. This year, Gail only got three because of the cold snap. All right, so as we go around here, I see a beautiful tree here. Is this the... Uh, that's a sweet sop I got from... Sour oh, sop? Sour sop, sorry. I got from Home Depot. Wow, it Home was, Depot? Yeah, it was like this big last year. And I what? Got it. How and is that possible? This big in a year. In one year? In one year. This is one year of growth. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow, Gail. So you're about to get sour sops. What do you mean? Look. Wait a minute, guys. Oh my gosh, I've not seen this before. You have blossoms. <gasps> Whoa, there's a blossom that's so here. exciting. There is another blossom here, another Whoa. big blossom, another one. I'm oh my gosh. Good soon. Oh my goodness, don't forget your friend. I discovered Whoa. it. Look, look. Whoa. Wow, guys, look. Guys, last year this was a baby. I just planted it and it's now a massive tree. And guys, and it also shows you the difference when we live in the more tropical, even though I'm, I'm in Florida, I'm in Central Florida, Gales in South Florida. So even though it's just a two hour difference in, in rides, my tree that's this, this tall a year ago is still this tall, maybe like this tall now. Whereas hers was this tall and now it's like 10 times the size. All of our trees are doing extremely well. Look at our Ethiopia apple. Mine is maybe four feet, hers is probably 14 feet. So. Guys, I just want to give you a quick update to just show you the, the spectacular growth in one year. You guys can do it too. Plant a seed today, buy a couple of trees, buy some flowers, and before you, you know it, you can have this lush tropical paradise that Gail has. Till next time, bye now. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post a whole lot more videos and clips there on Instagram. Till next time, bye now. Bye. So, so, so.